Good morning, dear children. Today we can revise the chapter files and folders. After that, we can do the exercises behind the textbook. So you take your textbook and a pencil with you. Okay? Are you ready? So what are things we have learned from this chapter? Yes. First, we discussed about files. What is a file? Okay, data when stored together and saved is called a file. What is a file? Data when stored together and saved is called a file. Or file contains meaningful data. Files contain meaningful data. What is data? Numbers, letters, words, pictures, etc. Sounds that we give to the computer are called data. The things that we give to the computer through keyboard, mouse, microphone, camera, etc. are called data. Data may be numbers, letters, words, pictures or sounds. Understand? And next is folder is a collection of files or we can say files under folders. Okay, folder is a collection of files or we save files under folders. Folders are also known as directories. Folders are also known as directories. All the folders or directories are present under drives. Now what is a drive? Drive is a section of memory. Drive is a section of memory. In uh, our computer you can see C colon slash D colon slash all these are examples of drives. Usually a computer is having uh, at least two drives. Usually a computer is having uh, at least two drives. Example C colon slash this is a drive. D uh, colon slash this is a drive. Okay when you open my computer you can see the drives available in your computer. Okay folders are created under drives or folders are saved under drives. Clear? So file means file is a collection of sorry File contains meaningful data. File contains meaningful data. Data when stored together and saved is called a file. Okay. And um, these files are uh, saved under folders. Okay. So folders are a collection of uh, files. A folder is a collection of files. A folder is a collection of files and uh, all these files and folders are present under drive. Drive is a section of memory or mem memory is divided into several sections and each section is known as a drive. Okay, clear? And next is Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer. What is Windows Explorer? Windows Explorer is a program Windows Explorer is a program that helps us to create and manage files and folders. Windows Explorer is a program that helps us to create and manage files and folders. In Windows 10 operating system, Windows Explorer is known as File Explorer. If your computer is having Windows 10, instead of Windows Explorer, you can see File Explorer. Okay, how, how can we open Windows Explorer? First, we have to click on Start button, then select All Programs, then select Accessories, and from Accessories, you can select Windows Explorer. First, we have to click on Start button, and then select All Programs, and then select Accessories, and from Accessories, we can uh, select Windows Explorer. So Windows Explorer is a program which helps us to create and manage files and folders. Windows Explorer displays all drives, files and folders in our computer. Windows Explorer displays all drives, files and folders in our computer. We can create, cut, copy, rename, paste, move or delete files and folders using Windows Explorer. These are the operations that usually we uh, do with the, the help of Windows Explorer. We can create a new file or folder. We can cut or copy or rename or paste or move a file from one folder to another or delete a file. 
all kinds of all uh, all these actions are done with the help of windows explorer that okay so keyboard shortcut next is keyboard shortcuts okay cut copy paste all these are the actions usually be done with the help of uh, mouse mouse pointer sorry you with the help of mouse we right click and choose all these options from the pop up menu instead of that using keyboard we can uh, to, uh, do all these actions okay keyboard shortcut for copy is control plus c we have to press both control key and uh, c but c button to copy and control and x is for cut control and v is for pasting okay so these are the keyboard shortcuts this is very important you should study okay for copy control plus c for cut control plus x for pasting control plus v these are the keyboard shortcut for cut copy and paste and uh, next is exercises exercises we have to do some exercises take for that you have to take page number 24 okay solve the following crossword see i wrote only answers i wrote only answers so i'll read the question and uh, uh and uh, then we can discuss the answers okay so solve the following crossword children are you ready take your textbook take page number 24 first solve the following crossword across first question data when stored together and saved data when stored together and saved is called what a file a file so write Uh, file inside the boxes given in that parcel select a two across we have to write f i l e file okay and number 4 option click to create a new folder if you want to create a new folder which option we need to select new n e w new okay across for oh, so find number 4 <coughs> sorry Find number four and uh, write new. And six, another name for folder. Another name for folder. Another name for folder is directory. Okay, six. Find the number six inside the um, puzzle and write directory. D I R E C T O R Y directory. Okay. And next is down. First, first one. option used to change the name of a file see the answer you should write downwards so find number 1 okay and write the answer downward so what is the question option used to change the name of a file if you want to change the name of a file which option do we need to select yes rename which option do we need to select rename find one from uh, inside the box right rename okay and third one number of panes in windows explorer how many panes are there there are two panes left pane and right pane so right two t w o two okay and fifth one option used to make a duplicate file if you want to duplicate a file which option do we need to select copy good copy so right copy C O P Y. Okay, children, do you finish? Okay. Next is complete the process. Next is complete the process to open Windows Explorer. What are the different? What are the steps to open Windows Explorer? Very simple, right? So first one, click on the dash button. Which button? Click on the start button. You have to write start in that. dash given okay click on the dash button what is the answer start second point click on all dash click on all programs click on all programs third one select dash select accessories select accessories number 4 click on dash so first we have to click on start button then we have to click on all programs then we have to select accessories and then we have to click on windows explorer to open so you have to write all these steps 
all these words uh, in the given space. Do you finish? Second one. To delete a file. To delete a file. First what we have to do? First we have to select the file. It is the it is there in the textbook. Steps are given in the textbook. Okay. You can refer the textbook to write the answer. Anyway, select the dash icon by clicking on it. Select the file icon. To delete a file, we have to select file icon. Press the dash mouse button. Which mouse button we need to press? Right mouse button. Okay. A dash will appear when we right click on the mouse a menu will appear so in the second dash you have to write menu okay press the right mouse button a dash will appear a menu will appear and what is the third step select dash select delete so first we have to right click on the first we have to select the file and right click and choose delete option okay and a dialog box will appear for confirmation last step for click on dash click on yes do you finish good and next is tick the correct answer tick the correct answer see answer the following i will give you separate and tick the correct answer. Next question is tick the correct answer. Windows Explorer displays all drives and folders in your computer. Is it true? Windows Explorer displays all drives and folders in your computer. That is true. Yes. Right. Yes. First one is the answer is yes number two when windows explorer is loaded which which pane displays the contents of the selected folder when we select a folder from the left pane the content will be displayed in the right pane which is the answer right r-i-g-h-t right number two answer is right question number three what do you do before you select paste? Before we select a file, before we paste a file or folder, what we have to do? First, we have to select, we have to choose cut or copy option. First, we have to choose cut or copy op option. Then only we can paste it. Okay. So, which one is the correct answer? First option. Option A. Cut or copy a file or folder. Cut or copy a file or folder number four where are all the files and folders stored all the files and folders are stored under drives all the folders and files are present under drives option b and question number five drive c stores what floppy disk compact disk hard disk which is correct option c hard disk okay drive c stores hard disk Clear children, only this much for today. Thank you so much. And one more important thing, next week we will have a Google meeting. In that meeting also, I will explain all these things in detail. And next chapter is uh, logo. Next lesson, uh, chapter 5, Windows 7 dialog boxes uh, is not there in our syllabus. So, uh, we are skipping that uh, chapter. And next chapter is chapter 6, print statement in logo. So, we are going to start logo. In the next class, uh, we can start logo. And uh, for that, you have to install logo in your computer. So, thank you so much. Bye.